Okay, I'm going to be making a cubism dog picture today, portrait, and we're going to use some simple lines and shapes and uh, geometric and freeform and doing some coloring as well. So we're going to start with the head shape for the cubism dog and that's going to be just a made up shape so I like to wave in and out make it nice and big on your paper and next I'm going to draw the dog's ears so I don't want things like in the usual spot and looking the same like I would normally make a dog or dog's ears I want to make things uneven and unusual because it's cubism. Then I'm going to draw the dog's eyes. So I may, might make one in one direction and one looking in another direction. Might make them two different sizes. There's ovals and circles. And let's see, how about for the nose? And maybe one part of the mouth is real high and the other one's down low. Give them a few dots. Not pressing hard. Um, I could even give them some eyebrows if I wanted to. neck. Maybe I'll give him a collar going around his neck with some spikes on it this time. And then I'm going to separate it into shapes. So I'm not going to draw rectangles on the face or triangles. I'm going to make lines. And the lines don't go right through the nose or right through the eye. The lines are separating my spaces for coloring in. Maybe I'll give them a little tongue while I'm thinking of it here. I'll leave in make some lines through the ears here so I have different spaces for coloring in inside the ears and then also on the neck. You could also have some eyelashes too. All right and then I would color these in and you're all set. 